Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Torrance and in today's video, we're switching things up as you can see. I'm working with a different background right now. I was gifted these lovely curtain lights from my mom and I still do not know how to set things up. Because a gift was handed to me, I feel like handing one off to someone else. I am someone who works for a living and almost everything I own is something that I had to purchase myself. So anytime I'm given anything, whether it's a compliment, a gift, word of advice, I truly appreciate and take those things to heart. So while setting up these lights behind me, I realized that I had to move something out of the way and it just kept getting in my way the whole time. And it finally dawned upon me, Torrance, why don't you get rid of it? It keeps getting in the way, you don't need it, why keep it in your space? So that's what we're doing today. And by finding this very first item, it automatically made me go through my collection and find a bunch of things that fit the same category. And that is duplicates that I bought, but will never get a chance to use. For many people, including myself, makeup is a very large passion. And sometimes you get worried that you're gonna love something and never be able to get it again. So you buy backups as well as with me being a previous makeup artist, many times I purchased things to make sure that my clients had access to them, but I no longer do freelance work, not nearly as much as I used to. And so I'm trying to get out of the habit of purchasing duplicates. And with all of the things I have here, I either A, have an exact copy of that item, or B, I have it here in a miniature size, but I have the full size, so there's no need to have both. And so I just want to show you all of the things that I'm going to be putting together into a mini declutter and I'm going to be getting rid of all of this. And what sparked this video was this here. The ABH Holiday Glitter Set. And as you can see here, there are two glitters missing out of this set. And the reason for that is because the holiday set that I received as a gift came with three shades as well as the glitter glue. And after loving those initial three, I went online and realized that they had actually come out with five shades. And at first I was willing to pay the full price to get those two additional ones, but then I realized the price of those two additional shades was the same as this one full set. So I ended up just buying these knowing I can give these away and completely forgot about them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these to the side because I've never opened them as well as the glitter adhesive because I already have it. Whoop. And so this item here can be the very first thing that goes into this declutter because I know someone else can enjoy this glitter. The next thing I have here, still in the tissue paper because I never opened it, and this is the Trophy Wife Highlighter by Fenty Beauty. I already have this in a full size. As you can see, it is very, very large. It says that this comes with eight grams of product and nobody's ever gonna run through eight grams of highlighter. But the reason I purchased this back up here is because I wanted the Trophy Wife Lip Gloss. I absolutely love the Fenty Gloss and have all 10 colors that they've released. But that Trophy Wife Gloss was available last holiday season and it was only available in a $70 kit. And although saying you spent $70 for a kit just to get a gloss sounds ridiculous, as a collector, I didn't care. I wanted to get it and I have it. I have no regrets over it. But now I have this entire full highlighter that I'm never gonna open, never gonna use. So this here, it's going in this declutter as well. Next, I have two highlighters. These are both miniatures, so I don't need these. The first is this little adorable Becca highlighter in the shade Rose Gold. These little, I call them flying saucers, are so pretty and I have a collection of them which is probably why I held on to this so long. And as you can see, although it is small, this one comes in at 2.4 grams, which I promise you is plenty of highlighter. But there's never been a reason to open that one because I have the shade Rose Gold right here in the Becca Chrissy Teigen palette. And as you can see, still has the plastic on it. And when you get inside, I have used it once before, and so I know Becca Rose Gold right here. If I have this ginormous one, don't need this miniature partner. 
So I can give that away to someone who wants to test out the Becca formula, as well as this Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Broadway. When I purchased the Supreme News Palette from the Artist Couture website, they sent this miniature here. It's a dual chrome highlighter, but I don't need it and there's no need to open it because I already had that in a full size. So when I look at, I'm never gonna run out of this. Someone could truly absolutely love this and use this in their collection. For lip products, we have two. The first is a brand I absolutely love and support. The lip bar in the shade Miss Independent. I already own this lip gloss here and had no idea. Have it right here. The thing is, I was shopping through Target, picking up a few things, and the song Miss Independent by Ply started playing in the background. Some guy walked past and it was playing, and I just started humming to the words. All of a sudden, this was in my cart again. Didn't realize till I got home and didn't want to take it back. So now someone can get this here. And already in this hand, the Mac and Hendash lipstick. This was part of their matchmaker set. And the day that this lipstick dropped, I somehow managed to just keep refreshing the website and it actually gave me early access because I was in and out of the website before it launched. And something told me, Torrance, this is sold out everywhere else that it launched. Go ahead and get you a second one if it allows you to put it in the cart. And I remember telling myself, if you post about it and either Mac or Hendash likes it, you'll give the second one away in a giveaway. And Hendash liked it instantly. And I was just so shocked that someone with a following as large as his would pay attention to an account as small as mine. So since I have it right here, two that I already love and use, I'm gonna go ahead and give someone this one here. And the funny thing is, it truly did sell out that first day, but they eventually restocked it, so I think it is still available. But I'm going to keep my word and give this one away as promised. Next up for our eyes, we're going to start off with an eye primer. The Urban Decay Primer Potion. Cult favorite in the beauty community. The thing is, I'm almost finished with one of these and I started testing out a different primer which is the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot which is what I'm wearing today and because I know I love the Urban Decay Primer Potion for about two years this was my Holy Grail eyeshadow primer but I ended up purchasing it again and realized that paint pot is going to take so long to get through that there is no need for me to ever actually open this one so I'm going to go ahead and give this away Another thing that I am back up to not realizing, it can take you months to a year, if not longer, to go through an entire eye primer. So this is something I recommend nobody ever buying backups of. While we're on eyes, my absolute favorite lid base, the NYX Glitter Primer. I love this product. For years, I used the Too Faced Glitter Glue. Loved it, had no issues with it. The thing is, this is less than $5. I believe that glitter glue is somewhere like in the $15, $20 range. Never look back, honey. She's wonderful. I use it in almost every single eye tutorial. While we're still on eyes, I wanna go ahead and show you my favorite mascara, the Lancome Monsoor Big. If you want lashes that are so big, so bold, they look like strips, she's the girl for you. What I was going to give away was the tube that looks like this, the one that I use in my tutorials. It has the sparkling peak packaging here, and I absolutely love this one. But this came out, I believe, about a year ago, and I didn't want to risk giving you one that you couldn't use up completely before it expires. But I have a backup of that particular tube as well, so I'm going to keep that one. And this year, they came out with this one here with the hearts came out around Valentine's Day because I started my channel around that time and I know my brother's birthday is around that time as well so I was already at the mall. So I'd rather just give you all this new tube that's covered in hearts just to show my love and appreciation. And I'll just go ahead and keep the older tube with the sparkle packaging on it just because I know for sure it's not gone bad but I would feel much more comfortable with me using the older products and giving you all the newer ones. I also have three glitters here and these are all from eye candy cosmetics although the morphe store started off i believe in california so many times we had to purchase things online when they finally brought a morphe store here to michigan i went 
at least every week, if not every other week, to purchase myself something. And nine times out of 10, it was always one of these glitters. And it didn't occur to me until I purchased this last set that I already have three of these. The first being Raspberry Blast, a nice burgundy shade here. I have Sour Apple, a nice green shade. And you know greens are my favorite, which is probably how I ended up with two of these. And then a nice teal shade called Spearmint. And once again, none of these have been opened, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these to the side because I have all three, love and use them, but there's no way, once again, I'm gonna ever go through glitters so someone can get those. Probably the best part about this giveaway, and these are eyeshadows from Makeup Geek. Right now, I am building my own Makeup Geek eyeshadow palettes, and although I don't wanna spoil the surprise and give you a peek at them, I do wanna show you I have a palette here that has one shade, a palette here with four shades, one here that has nine shades, and then a custom matrix palette with 28 shades. And the best part about them is between all four palettes, none of them have repeating shades in them. So I was really proud to get that going, but I'm gonna have to start recording the tutorials on those later. And in the middle of doing so, I realized that I had 12 duplicate shades that there's no need for me to hold on to them. I'm never gonna go through a full shade of those. And with the price of these eyeshadows, although they are affordable individually, when you look at the price of 12 of these, that can really add up. And this could save someone a lot of money and time and give them the chance to test out a beautiful formula. And just looking across the makeup market, it seems like warm neutrals with a pop of blue is making a real big comeback. And so with this, I wanted to use this to create three custom quads that you can either build together or mix and match. The first one here is a warm tone quad. And although I didn't realize it at first, all four of these shades are already sold in a preset bundle. I believe that quad is called I'm Peachless. But as you can see, we have three mattes and one shimmer have a neutral quad here with two mattes and two shimmers and then for that pop of blue effect we have three mattes and one shimmer i want to show you all three of these together and it's like look how beautiful and pretty that is someone would be able to truly make amazing looks with these products and to have them just sitting on my shelf collecting dust it just doesn't make sense so i'm going to make sure i put these to the side as well also wanted to give away what I believe is probably one of the most important tools in my makeup routine, but I can truly understand why other people don't have it, and that is the Beauty Blender Pro. I absolutely love this thing, and it came here in this little zip tie pouch as well with a Beauty Blender Blotterazzi Pro. They are both black, and it's because I personally think the texture of this Beauty Blender is much better than any other color that they carry. I'm not playing when I tell you I keep me a couple of them to the side because I never want to run out of these. And I've tested out so many colors that I know I love that one. And I even still have this set right here sitting on the shelf. I think I received this maybe a year if not two ago. Tested out different colors across the board. And knowing I still have these three, beauty blenders easily give you three to four months, if not longer, if you wash them on a daily basis. Giving someone else one of these sponges isn't going to be the death of me, especially knowing this is someone who could potentially try the brand for the first time. Because dropping $20 for a sponge, honey, trust me, I understand. And one of the most underrated products from the brand, the Blotterazzi. If you have oily skin and you are tired of spending your money on blotting sheets, she's the one for you. A lot of people did not buy them because it came with this little compact here. You would open it. I've never used it, but you can see it has a sponge in there. You blot your oils off and then they recommend that you put it back in there and close this. Don't do that, honey. That's an acne breakout waiting for you to happen. I usually just keep a separate plastic bag or a little piece of paper towel. After I use that, I'll wrap that up and put it separately. But don't put that back in here because then you have to wash the sponge and this every time you use it. Keep this for your clean sponges. Take your dirty ones, put them in something separate and wash those later. Because I'm giving away a beauty blender, I wanted to make sure you had the chance to keep it clean. 
In this bag here, I have three of the miniature bar soaps that are sold by Beauty Blenders to help cleanse it. I'm someone who only tends to use unscented soaps whenever I'm cleaning my products. So even though they sent these, I can honestly tell you I have no idea if they work or not because I'm not even going to test them out. But what I did purchase was the Beauty Blender Instant Clean Waterless Sponge and Brush Cleansing Spray. Ulta had this here on sale, buy one, get one free. And so I have one right here with me and I have this one here that I'm going to make sure I put with all of these items because I just bought it just for the spur of the moment. Let's be real. I'm someone who tends to really like to just use soap and water because I use full coverage concealers with my sponges. So I'm not sure if this works. If it doesn't, I won't be upset because I only have one bottle. But if it does, it'll be nice to know that someone else was able to get one. And I hope whoever gets it lets me know if it works or not because chances are they'll test it out before I do. Last but not least is this big baggie right here. This is a bag full of samples. I am someone who does a lot of online shopping and with most websites, especially Sephora, Ulta, Nordstrom, Beautylish, with every order they tend to give you at least one free sample, but with companies like Sephora, you can choose up to three many times. With that has come the collection of samples that I either A, do not need, or B, I am never going to use. One of them, miniature makeup eraser. I hear many things about this product. I'm quite sure it works wonderfully, but I'm someone who tends to like makeup removing oils. As someone with acne, I'm trying to make sure all of that makeup is off. And with this being a sample, even if it was the world's greatest makeup remover, a miniature isn't going to do anything for my very large face. So I'd rather give this to someone else. And if I ever want the full size, I'll just go out and purchase it. And with these two, we have two big old bags full of samples. Like, look at here. This thing is jam-packed with all types of things. And although they are samples, honey, these samples are truly something to be looking out for. When I tell you, we have things in here. Tasha Dewey Skin Cream. Drunk Elephant. It's some Drunk Elephant right here. I got Becca primers in here. What else we got? We got some Bumble and Bumble. We got some Pat McGrath. Like these are some large full size samples. And this one here is mostly skincare items like skincare, hair care, moisturizer, serums, things like that. And so there's no need for me to have this huge thing. Like even down here, we got cleansers, things like that. I'm never going to use these and I'm quite sure someone else will love these like I know I have a moisturizer I don't need a Tatcha one but someone who may not want to pay for it or just want to test it out they can truly enjoy this and so I'm gonna put this big old bag full of samples right over in there with those and just like we got a big old cleanser and moisturizer one we got one right here full of makeup items that's a MAC lipstick right there we got some Charlotte Tilbury, and I know the three that I was most excited about to put in here were these here. Natasha Denona eyeshadows. Sephora was giving these away one per order with each order, and over the weeks I managed to just get them all. We have the Sunrise palette, the middle shade from there. That's a full-size eyeshadow, but if I want the palette, I'll just go purchase it, but someone can have this one here. We have the Love palette. Another full-size eyeshadow there. Someone can have that one. As well as the bronze palette. Just those three eyeshadows alone to me are just beautiful samples. And I'm going to give away all three to make sure someone else tests them out. Because I already know I like the Natasha Denona formula. And if for any reason I want the palette, I can go ahead and just get them. I see some Becca primers. Some NARS lipsticks. Some eyeliners. Some Armani and Pat McGrath samples oh the lower mercier powders they sent me so many of these where it is the the loose setting powder as well as the medium deep and i have this in the glow the thing is i have all of these powders in full size so i know there are about four or five of these in this bag here there are some pore minimizing primers 
It's just a whole bunch of different things. But most of the items in this bag are either items I have in full size or products I'm just genuinely not interested in trying. For now, that appears to be all the things that I am decluttering that I have duplicates of. I know, trust me, I know and understand I ought to be ashamed of myself for having so many of these items where not only do I have them, but I have enough of those items to give away. But this is why I'm doing so because I have way too much makeup that I don't need to just be hoarding. If someone else can get a wonderful time and a wonderful look out of them, I will feel much more better about giving those items away. And for anything that I do have in this collection here, I'm gonna make sure I try to do a tutorial on them because if I'm gonna be giving them away, many people may want inspiration or ideas on how to use them, so I wanna provide that. Although I think giving all of these items away will be a very good idea because I have family and friends that I give makeup to all the time, to me, it seems like it would be a much better idea to take and gather all of these things, put them in one big container, and do a giveaway with them. Because if I'm sharing this information with my subscribers here on YouTube, it would make me feel even better to make sure that one of my subscribers was actually able to have these items. I personally do not need them. Let's just put that out there. Considering I already have them, there's no need for me to have them. But... I really have appreciated the love and support that I've gotten on my channel. Although I am a micro influencer, honey, nobody knows who I am on the platform. It just really feels good to know that something I want to do in my free time, because there is no money, there is no endorsements, there is no ads involved in this on my end. It just feels nice knowing someone's taking time out of their day to sit back and watch the things that I do. Although doing makeup is something that was easy and fun for me, the editing and getting comfortable enough to put yourself on camera and out to the world is something that's brand new for me. And so I really want to make sure that I gather all of these things and put them in the giveaway. So as soon as I hit 100 subscribers, I'm gonna make sure I do a video called Keep It 100. And every item that I showed you in today's video will go into the giveaway for that. So I hope you all continue to watch for that because when I checked this morning as of recording this video, I'm already at 94 subscribers. So once I hit that 100, I'm gonna make sure I put that video out there and I'll leave it linked down below and make sure that all of these items are sent out and you all won't have to worry about shipping or anything because I'm gonna make sure that I make this a worldwide giveaway and I'm gonna cover the cost of shipping if for any reason you live in a country where this has to go out and you have to pay duties for it to come in, just make sure you keep in contact with me and I'll make sure we get that covered. But I hope you all truly enjoyed today's video. Also, let me know how you like this new camera angle. Although I'm truly feeling the angle of the camera, not going to lie to you, I am feeling a little salty because I had to do my own hair and things ain't laying down the way my stylist can get it. But that's why she's a professional and I'm an amateur. Once again, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment down below letting me know if you have any of the items that I showed you all here. But for now, remember to practice, continue to stay blessed, and until next time, bye YouTube.